in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The book of Hebrew, chapter 13, verse 8. Jesus Christ is same yesterday, today and forever. And it is the inner healing. We are healing our past memory. Why we have to heal the past memory? That should not influence or affect our present character. Remember, we take it to the moment, the time, the child in the womb, child in the womb, and whatever the emotions and feelings, whatever the emotions and feeling of the parents that is affecting the child. And, and the Bible says, when Samson was carrying in the mother's womb, Manove, you have to be very careful. You are conceived. You have to be very careful. It is in the Old Testament. It is the birth of, it is during the time of carrying Samson, it was telling to the mother. And we, we see the child, when the child is in the womb of the mother, sometime the marriage itself will be an undesired marriage and mother may be hating the husband. That hatred, it is going directly into the character of the child. Maybe the deep sorrows, deep sorrows of the mother. Mother may be going through the deep sorrow. That is affecting. Now the child cannot smile. We don't understand why this child is always in a sorrowful nature. And it is directly, it is from the mother's character it is getting. Maybe the family is go, the mother may be the may be going through the various kinds of sickness. We see various kinds of the hereditary diseases. Maybe it's like a di, uh, diabetes. Maybe various kinds of sickness also. We say transmitting through. It is affecting the affecting the emotions of the child. If the DNA it is transferred. And sometimes the character, other disorders also. Maybe the poverty in the family, poverty in the family. And that it is affecting the child. And maybe beloved people died, beloved people. That trauma is affecting the child. Every day the husband is coming, the humming with the alcohol, fight completely disturbed, disturbed life and it is affecting. The, maybe the husband is going through the infidelity, the brokenness in the relationship and this all affecting. And what will be the situation of the child? It is a health is disturbed, the relationship is disturbed, the mindset of the child is disturbed. It is disturbing the child, disturbing the child. We see in the life of Mother Mary, it is in the Mother Mary, Mother Mary visited the Elizabeth and Elizabeth, she was carrying the child. She was carrying the child and because it is in the old age she was carrying, she was feeling, because of feeling shyness, she did not come out, the Bible says, she did not come out, she remained and hiding herself. And what will be the situation, what will be the situation and completely a mother's emotion is very kind of shyness and inferiority complex, inferiority complex. 
and the miracle happened. It is in the presence of the Mother Mary, the Holy Spirit is entered into the womb of the child. It is womb of the mother, Elizabeth, and the child is received the anointing of the Holy Spirit and lived with joy. That is really the inner healing. And because the child, it is in the presence of the Holy Spirit, with the power of God, it is entered into the womb of the mother, in, into, the, into the womb of Elizabeth. Child was completely healed. It the spirit is entered, and the child became. Now, when we look at the life of John the Baptist, John the Baptist, he is not not a like a shy person or man of inferiority complex. No, he man of full of vigor, vitality, power, and authority, and full of confidence, courage, and very powerful way. He was proclaiming the word of God and in front of the authority he was able to say the sins of the authority and even to die for the sake of God's word and to he proclaim the words of repentance, repentance. So always remember it is our area when we do the working for the abundant life, abundant life, life in fullness. We have to sit with the Lord. We are, don't know whatever the family background, whatever may be the character disorders, maybe daddy's alcoholic nature, daddy's smoking nature, and mother's anchor, mother may be very angry in nature and character disorders of our parents, whatever it is affected, whatever it is affected in the, it is in the, in the child, the innocent child and it has to become a new creation. So that is why who will deliver me from the bondage, from the law of, from the bondage? I am not able to do what I wanted to do it. I am helpless. Really I want to live a holy life. I can't help it. Who will deliver me? And that is why St. Paul is telling, thanks be to the Lord Jesus Christ. We invite the moment, the moment we are in the mother's womb, all that experiences, experiences, Sometimes experiences and let the spirit heal all that emotions. Maybe mother may be left alone when she was, husband has gone for work, she was left alone, she felt loneliness and sometimes and feeling of rejection, sometimes the relatives prompted her and compelled her, you have to go for abortion, abortion you have to do. It is not a pre-plan, you have to go. Maybe husband was telling, you are going to go for abortion. And sometimes you have tried to attempt, attempted to commit ab abortion. That is all affecting, affecting the, affecting the child. All the fear, anxiety, sorrows, of the mother and parents, it is affecting the child, affecting the child. Maybe the unsatisfied marriages, marriages, and not child is not born from the love. Maybe the child is born out of lust, and it is affecting the life, and the lack of love, lack of love, it is affected in the in the life. I, it is affecting the child of the child's character. So we have to invite Jesus and one by one, Jesus, we, one by one, we surrender to Jesus all the, whatever it is happened, we don't know whatever it is, was the state when we were in the mother's womb, what, what was the background. So invite Jesus 
invite Jesus come and it is through the Holy Spirit entering into my past life washed with the blood of Jesus it is in the blood in Jesus Christ we become new creation and that is the healing in the womb that is the inner healing inviting and healing all the experience past experience in the womb God bless you we become a new creation in Christ Jesus amen